Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to get every wacky wizard's ingredient in the game. The first ingredient I'm going to be showing you how to get is the Charmeleon. So go ahead and head over to the tree right behind this monkey over here. So once at the tree, go ahead, click him, teleport back to your cauldron, and drop him right on in. Onto the bird ingredient, go ahead, walk over to this large tree over here, and you're going to see the bird sitting at the very top. Go ahead, complete the parkour. Boom, click the bird, teleport back to Cauldron, and drop him right on in. Now for the dynamite ingredient, head over to the desert, and you should see it sitting on the side of the railroad tracks. Just click it, teleport back to Cauldron, and drop it right on in. For the chili ingredient, go ahead and head over to the desert. Once at the desert, the ground should look a little bit different behind this cactus. Go ahead, jump on in. And now we just need to complete a little bit of parkour. Grab the chili, teleport back to Cauldron, and drop it right on in. For the fish ingredient, go ahead and head over to the pond. It makes sense since that's where a fish would be. Jump on in, go to the left side into this hole, and you should see a fish right at the end. Be sure to teleport back to your Cauldron and drop it in, otherwise you won't get it. For the spider ingredient, you're going to want to go ahead and make a tiny potion, which requires three fairies. Once you've made the tiny potion, go ahead and walk over to the spider cave. Once inside the spider cave, go ahead and drink your tiny potion because we're gonna need it to fit through this hole. Now that we can fit through the hole, grab the spider, teleport back your cauldron, and drop it right on in. For the tumbleweed ingredient, go ahead and head over to the desert. You're going to need to wait for a train to spawn, and we're going to hop on that train. So if the train is not here, just be patient and wait. Oh, the train just spawned right on me. So once the train spawns, go to the little blue part and click hop on. Alright, now we just need to reach the front of the train. So there is bullets being fired at you. Be sure to watch out so you don't get hit by the bullets. That was a close one. They usually fire down the middle. So just be sure to keep an eye out and move out of the way when necessary. Alrighty, once you reach the front, go ahead and place the dynamite. We're gonna blow this vault wide open. Once it explodes, go ahead and grab the tumbleweed at the front, teleport back to your cauldron, and you now have the new tumbleweed ingredient. For the ethereum crystal ingredient, go ahead and talk to the golem sitting over here. Once you talk to the golem, you'll find his body parts around the map, which is why mine already spawned. And we need to collect them and give it to him. So go ahead and grab each body part and take it back to him.
Once you've given him all his body parts, he is asking for a brain. So go back to your cauldron, grab a brain, and then take it to him. Once you've given him his brain, he's going to go ahead and give you a special gem. We're going to need to head to the castle with this gem. Head to the castle and you will need to be holding up the gem to be able to enter this cool purple room. So we're going to go ahead and enter it. Now we just need to complete the parkour. Once you've reached the end, go ahead and click the crystal, but you need to drop the gem before you can click the crystal. And then teleport back to your cauldron, and you now have the new Ethereum crystal. Be sure to put it into your cauldron or you will not get the ingredient. For the frog ingredient, you're going to want to make a shrink ray potion. So that's one fairy and one charmeleon. Go ahead, place them in there, take the potion and drain your cauldron. Once you've done that, just stand on your cauldron and drink the potion. This will kill you, but it should put you as an ingredient in your cauldron. So I'm now an ingredient. I'm going to spawn that potion. And we're going to go ahead and take that to the Goblin Village. Once at the Goblin Village, go ahead and talk to the Goblin Leader. Alright, now we're going to need to make each of them a potion. So go to the Fat Goblin and give him the U Potion. Now we'll need to talk to every other Goblin and see what they want. So the Goblin Kid wants a Noodle Stew, so just take the Noodle put it in here and get the stew and give it to him all right the goblin leader wants a spicy stew so we'll need to find a chili give that to him all right this vegan goblin wants some beans so look for a can of beans All right, last but not least, we have the short goblin. He wants something to grow. So we're looking for a giant's ear. Give him the potion. And once you've given every goblin the correct potion, talk to the goblin leader. And he just gives you the frog ingredient. For the Egyptian head ingredient, go ahead and grab a frog. And then we're gonna need to take it to the pyramid. So once at the pyramid, we will need to do some parkour. I am awful at parkour, so I'm going to reset so I do not have speed. The parkour isn't too hard, so shouldn't give y'all too much trouble. Once we complete it, You'll notice there's five symbols over here, which are ingredients. There's a frog, bird, brain, fish, and spider. So go ahead and click the frog while holding the frog. We've now completed one out of five. So we gotta go ahead and bring back the bird, brain, fish, and spider ingredient. So teleport back to your cauldron and bring back those ingredients. Once you place the last ingredient, the pharaoh head will appear. Just click it and teleport back to your cauldron and drop it right on in. For the shield ingredient, you're gonna wanna wait until the giant event starts. And you can know when it's starting by looking at this big sky castle with the timer. So it's starting in one minute for me and you should get a pop up. Go ahead, click yes, you would like to participate. Once the event begins, as you see, 
some clouds will spawn and we gotta go ahead and walk over to the big giant castle. Let's go ahead and do that. I'd recommend using a speed potion for this, which is just giraffe hooves, just so it doesn't take forever. So go ahead, climb the ladders. We need to go ahead and grab a turret. Go ahead, grab one of these turrets, and we're gonna wait for a giant gingerbread man to spawn, and then we're gonna shoot him. This could take a bit for him to spawn, I'm not sure how long, just be patient. Alright, Oz told us to grab a sword. Even though he told us to grab a sword, don't listen to him. Just grab the turret and shoot him. Do not grab a sword. That is a waste of time and we just want to kill him. Just like that, you should get the new shield ingredient. For the Robux ingredient, you'll need to complete an, an event. And the event timer is right over here. Mine has 10 seconds until it starts. So it's starting really soon. And I'll go ahead and show you how to complete this. The event is starting. The more people in your server, the more health Mr. Rich will have. So go ahead and load the potion into the cannon and start shooting him. Keep doing this until he dies. I recommend having a speed potion while doing this so you can easily dodge his attacks and get back to your cauldron faster. All right, as you can see, Mr. Rich is almost dead. Boom, just like that, he is dead. And now we're gonna go pick up the Cyclops eye and take it to Oz. So after taking the Cyclops eye to Oz and talking to him, he should give you the Robux ingredient. So you can check how often the volcano event happens by going to this timer right over here. And as you can see, mine starts in one minute and 30 seconds. So go ahead and click yes and wait for the event to begin. Alrighty, the volcano event is finally beginning. So for the first part, just go ahead and wait until the bean drones disappear. It could take a bit, but just be patient. Once the bean drones have disappeared, you're going to see KSI come out of the volcano. Alrighty guys, once KSI comes out of the volcano, this basically becomes the same as the Mr. Rich event. So go ahead and place your potions into the cannon to destroy KSI. I would highly recommend having a speed potion so you can easily get to the ladders to dodge the lava and get to your cauldron to shoot potions faster. Once you've beaten KSI, you'll get the new coconut ingredient. For the sunglasses ingredient, let's go ahead and head over to the pool party. Alright, once we get the pool party, you'll notice there's three NPCs. There's the Goblin King, Oz, and Glinda. So we'll need to talk to each one to find out what smoothie they'd like us to make. So the Goblin Leader wants uh, orange and he wants me so grab an orange take it to the blender and then I will need to stand in the blender as well to give it me so you should get the smoothie go ahead and deliver it to him now let's talk to Oz he wants a banana and orange so just go ahead and grab a banana place it into the blender and then grab an orange All right, and then I already know that Glinda will want an apple. So let's get an apple and she wants an apple and banana. So now we just got to get a banana. Boom, it's that easy. Give her the smoothie and you should get the sunglasses ingredient. For the star shard ingredient, go ahead, take one dynamite 
and one chili pepper. And we're gonna go ahead and make a rocket fuel potion. And we're gonna do exactly what the name implies. We're gonna fill up this rocket. So let's head over here and talk to Elon Musk. All right, once you've spoken to him, go ahead, add the rocket fuel, and you'll notice the battery went up a little bit. We need to repeat this process a few more times. So spawn another potion and take it back and just keep doing this until the rocket is full. Once the rocket is full, go ahead and get inside and we're going straight to Mars. Alrighty, once we're at Mars, we'll have to complete the parkour and reach the star shard at the very end. You can see it's all the way over here, so this will take a second but there is laser shooting at you. My advice, don't worry about them. Just don't stop moving. As long as you don't stop moving, you won't get hit. Grab the star shard ingredient, teleport back to your cauldron and drop it right on in. Alrighty, for the honey ingredient, you'll need to go ahead and Walk over to the beehive across the map. Go ahead and take the sleeping bee out of the beehive and teleport to your cauldron and drop it right on in. Make a bee disguise potion and use it. So once you've became a bee, oh my gosh, we're going so slow. I would recommend making a speed potion as well. Alrighty, now I'm moving a lot faster. So we're going to need to find a couple of flowers across the map. This is one of the flowers. Just go ahead and touch it. Once you see that effect, go ahead and come to the beehive. Fly up and whichever flower you just did, I did the field daisy, walk into the hole and it should get filled in. So there's four more flowers. After each flower, you need to come back here and go into the hole and then go back out. So I'll be showing you the location of these next four flowers. And I'm not going to come back to the beehive after each one because I know that's a lot of work and I don't want to waste y'all's time. The next flower is the cactus flower over here. Just touch it. And then there is another one at the very top of the volcano. right up here there is another one in oz's hideout this one is the sunflower and then last but not least the last flower is in the water so those are all the flower locations. Once you've collected every single flower, then the honey ingredient should spawn right here. Just click it and teleport back to your cauldron and drop it on in. You're gonna wanna go ahead and make a giant potion. So take a giant's ear, place it into the cauldron and grab that giant potion. Then we're gonna head over to the barn. I would highly recommend a fly potion but it is not required but it will make it a lot easier so go ahead and I've already completed the first step but normally you would drop the giant's potion then talk to Oz and I'm gonna go ahead and play a clip he wants you to plant this flower we're gonna go ahead and plant the seed and water it Once you've watered the flowers, go ahead and pick up your giant potion. 
and then give it to the flower and it's gonna grow into a big tree. Teleport back to your cauldron, make another giant's potion, and then we're gonna need to fly all the way up here to this golden looking cloud building. I don't know what to call it. All right, once you get up here, go ahead and drink the potion. And once you start to grow, stand on the scale and boom. Grab that paintbrush, teleport back to your cauldron and drop it right on in. It's that easy. To get the gun ingredient, all you need to do is reach level nine. So as you can see, I'm level nine and I just unlocked the gun ingredient. In chat, there's a message. It says, congratulations on reaching level nine. You have received five gems and the gun ingredient. So it's that easy. Just reach level nine. For the snow cone ingredient, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab the bird and then head over to the ice cream truck. Talk to the ice cream guy, give him the bird, and then go ahead and find Pete. So Pete is standing in the middle. Just go ahead, talk to Pete. And now we're gonna need to go back to our cauldron and grab a pool noodle. Then head back to the ice cream truck. Talk to the ice cream guy. He's going to give you a popsicle and we need to give this to Glinda. So she is the witch in the desert cave. All right, then lastly, go ahead and talk to the guy one more time, but bring a paintbrush. Now we need to give this one to Oz. Once you've done that, go back to the ice cream truck and now this is the final time you'll need to talk to him. And just like that, you have the ice cream cone ingredient. For the mushroom ingredient, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this man near the desert. So let's go ahead and talk to the mushroom forger. All right, we're gonna need to find eight mushrooms and I think this is the best order to find them. So first one is behind the pyramid. And I would recommend a fly potion with this. My fly potion is a Robux ingredient and a fish. So you do need to bring each item back to the mushroom forger. So these two are really close together. They're really easy. Instead of collecting each mushroom and bringing it back to him, I'm just gonna show you the locations so I don't waste your time. So this is the third one. This is the fourth one. All right, fifth one is in the water near the fish ingredient right here. Next one is gonna be behind the potion cannon. Then there's gonna be another one in Oz's location. Yep, right here. And then the last mushroom location is going to be right up here. Once you turn in the last mushroom, you should get the mushroom ingredient. For the witch's brew ingredient, go ahead and take a chili and make a hot potion with it. So bring that hot potion to the witch. Talk to Galinda to go ahead and give her the potion. All right, now the next potion we need to give her is a speed potion. So drain your cauldron and place a giraffe hoof in. And now that we got a speedy potion, go ahead and take that to her. It does suck when the train spawns, 
give Glinda the speed potion. All right, now we need to help her find some ingredients. So the first one that I need is a cave bat. Yours may be in a different order, but it should be the same ingredients. So cave bat is in the spider cave. Just look up and it should be hiding somewhere in the dark right here. Teleport back to your cauldron and deliver it to Glinda. All right, next one is a cactus cat. So luckily for us, we are in the desert already and the cactus cat is just right here. Super easy, super fast. All right, then the last one is a lava flower. So you may get a different ingredient. If you get the blue frog ingredient, I'm gonna go ahead and show you its location. The blue frog will be right on the rock over here. So if you get a blue frog, just come over here and click it. Now for me, I got the lava flower. So if you get lava flower, you will need a fly potion. I'm back with the fly potion. This is just Robux and bird. Super good, super easy. Fly up to the top of the volcano and the flower is just chilling right here. Give her the flower and then boom, just like that, you now have the witch's brew. To get the disco ball ingredient, go ahead and grab a charmeleon and then fly up to the disco area. I will use a fly potion. The one I'm using is Robux plus bird. So we're gonna need to repair this area. It's all broken. These are the four things we need to repair. Charmeleon repairs the disco floor. Teleport back to your cauldron. Grab a witch's brew and we're gonna use the witch's brew to repair the fridge. Next ingredient is the dynamite. This is gonna help repair the speaker. And then last but not least, bring a chili this chili is going to be used with the smoke machine and after you repair that you should get the disco ball ingredient the disco ball ingredient spawns right here just click it teleport back to your cauldron and drop it on in for the boxing glove ingredient, go ahead and grab a chili, make a potion with it, and take it to the corner of the map right near the goblin village. Go ahead, use the chili potion to burn down this bush, teleport back to your cauldron and make a giant potion. Bring the giant potion back to the same area we were just at. Once here, you can just fly over all this parkour. If you have a flight potion, drink your giant's potion. If you do not drink the giant's potion, you cannot pick up this key. Then unlock the door and teleport back to your cauldron. Last but not least, we're gonna need to make a U potion. So for this, go ahead and grab a fairy and a charmeleon. Take the shrink ray potion, stand over your cauldron, and use the shrink ray potion. This will kill you, but it will add you as an ingredient to your cauldron. So my name is now an ingredient. Boom, easy peasy. Now head back to the area we were just at.
Alrighty. Once back here, talk to the collector and give him your potion. And then a bridge will appear. Just walk across, talk to this dude. And just like that, you should get the boxing glove. For the beans ingredient, go ahead, place a dynamite into your cauldron and make an explosive potion. Take it to this little hole in the wall, if you want to call it that, and when you're right up against it, drink your potion. This should make you explode and open up the hole. Next, take a giant's ear, do the same thing, and make a giant's potion. Take it back to the area we were just at and use the giant's potion on this spoon. Last but not least, teleport back to your cauldron and we're going to need to make a tiny potion. So that's with one fairy. And now take the tiny potion back to where we were just at. So complete this small section of parkour and now drink the tiny potion before you go onto this lift. If you don't drink the tiny potion, it will kill you. So be sure to do that. Now complete the remaining parkour and it's that easy. We now have the beans ingredient. Be sure to drop it into your cauldron. These three ingredients you could only get during the Halloween event, so they are no longer obtainable. If you would like to get a legacy ingredient, aka old ingredients from the purple table, what you need to do is head to the middle and click on these crates. You can get a legacy ingredient for 300 gems. That is the only way to get these ingredients, sadly, as they are no longer obtainable any other way.